The introduction. I once heard the saying, basketball is 80% mental and 20% physical. Of course, this statement made no sense to me in my early years because, to be honest, most of my scoring came from athleticism and flat out being better than everyone else my age. I remember putting up 30 points at the age of 12 and thinking to myself, man, this game is easy. Oh, if only basketball would have stayed that way. When I entered high school, the game of basketball changed drastically. I was bigger, stronger, and faster, but so was the competition. I remember playing AAU ball for a team named Fast Break in the summer. Coach Chris saw that I was handling the kids my age at 15 pretty well, so he decided to move me up to the 17 and under team. This is when I learned the game of basketball was 80% mental. That summer, I was playing with kids who were taller, faster, and much more athletic. What usually was an uncontested layup became a block into the crowd. And a crossover I used against kids my age was ineffective, and many times it was stolen. This was my baptism into the game of basketball. I was paying my dues, and I had to find a way to compete. The next summer, Coach Chris decided to take an interest in me. He coached at perennial Basketball Powerhouse St. Patrick's in New Jersey and had a great knowledge of the game of basketball. He was especially talented at player development and frequently would give lessons to kids in the area who had the money to pay. I will never forget the day in practice when he said, be here tomorrow at 4. I said, coach, we don't have practice tomorrow. He looked at me and repeated his statement. I walked into the gym on that hot summer afternoon and I was welcomed by two other players who were going to work out. We started off with ball handling and then we went on to jump shooting. Drill after drill, coach was on us, telling us to go harder, faster, stronger. The criticism was intense because there were only three of us. There was nowhere to run or hide my mistakes. Position yourself here. Concentrate on your footwork. There I was, out of my element, but learning at a frantic pace. What I learned that summer, and what you will learn after reading this book, is how to score with your mind and not just your feet. Twice a week, he would call the house and say, I'm picking you up in an hour. I would look at my mom and say, this guy is crazy, but she knew he was giving me the work ethic and direction needed to excel in basketball and life. By the time I entered my senior year of high school, I was full of knowledge and ready to compete at a high level. I was fortunate that someone saw my potential and was willing to work with me. The lessons learned during those hot summer afternoons stay with me through college and they are part of the reason why I started jumpstarthoops.com. Now I get the opportunity to become your coach, Chris, as I share with you what it takes to win and score points on and off the court. Turn the page and get ready to see basketball in a whole new light.